Hello, this is Pastor Jay of Walker Truth Radio Network with your encouraging word for today. Have you ever been fortunate enough, blessed enough to be given a responsibility to do something and you have been picked to represent, go forward and do something very great and you accept the challenge and you go forward and you say, because I've been picked you promised to do something that has never been asked of you. It's not required of you. But for some reason or another, you say you respond to the being picked, being selected, being chosen with some verbiage that really wasn't necessary. Well, this is inspired by Judges chapter 11, verse 30 and 31, with Jephthah, the mighty man of valor, the man picked by God, the man picked by the children of Israel to represent them and go up against the Philistines. And he was cast away first and then he was picked. He dealt with that rightly. He tried to reason. But no sooner that he was picked than he conquered. And he was about to conquer. He made a vow that was not necessary because God was with him. He said the first thing when he comes back from battle that he sees come out his door, out his house, that he would sacrifice to the Lord. He presumptuously made an oath that wasn't necessary. That became an idle word. There was no reason for him to say that. And a lot of times I notice in our society, we say things off the top of our head, out of our emotions, out of the, the moment at the time that we really don't mean. Because what was he thinking? He probably thought one of his slaves would come out and he could offer up one of his slaves. But even that, he was willing to kill because he thought that would be a good thing to do to show God how faithful he was. But God didn't require that. God just required obedience. He said, I'd rather have obedience rather than sacrifice. So the first person out of Jephthah's house was his daughter. And that made him sick. And the story goes on to say that he had to offer her up because of his word. And some scholars disagree, did she die or didn't she die? But the point of the matter is that there was no reason for him to make that vow. There was no reason for him to make that 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 statement, that bravado statement, God didn't require that. He had obeyed God and fought for God and did what God told him to do. It was now time to rest him now. But a lot of times in our lives, we feel after we battle for God, we have to make a declaration for God to show how faithful and how awesome we have been. Not so much how God has been, but how we have been. Because guess what? He said, I'm going to offer a sacrifice. He became religious when God had graced him. So many times in our lives, we become religious after God has graced us. So we need to think about these things before we say something. We need to be about the obedience and let the bravado stay at home. We need to think about what we're going to say, especially when we make a vow to God, because God may hold us to that. He may hold us to that emotional outburst at that time and say, I must show the others they need to think. Do you know one of the fruit of the spirits is self-control? That means that you think about what you say before you say it. And you never make a vow to God when there's no reason to that he didn't require it. He said, I'd rather have obedience than artificial ceremonial sacrifice. This is Pastor Jay of Walk to the Radio Network. I always want you to be encouraged to be blessed. And do me a favor, go to the YouTube page and subscribe, share, and subscribe again. And if you would like to, donate. And like I say, be encouraged, be blessed, and always remember walk in the truth of the Lord and gain some peace and don't make idle vows to God because he might require you to keep peace We like to thank you for listening to the Walk in Truth broadcast. Our worship service is held every Tuesday and Sunday at the Universal Church of Jesus Christ Building. Located at 2301 Wallace Avenue, Overland, Missouri, 63114. Tuesday's Bible study is at 7 p.m. and Sunday worship at 8.30 a.m. All are welcome. If you would like to donate to this ministry please look in the description box and donate on your favorite platform of choice.
Continue to listen to us on our Walk in Truth Radio Network YouTube page and on our Walk in Truth Christian Fellowship Facebook page. Please subscribe to either platform to be notified when we are broadcasting. We again want to thank you for your prayers and your continuous support. May God bless you, keep you and always remember, walk in the truth of the Lord Jesus, and be at peace.